all right then so let's create a new project folder in our desktop so let me create a new project folder and i'm going to name that project folder as youtube job portal right and let me open this in the visual studio code right click open it in the new terminal and let me open it up in the visual studio code so feel free to use whatever the code editor that you are uh, okay so that you are satisfied okay so now what you have to do is so let's go here and since we are going to use the next js typescript and chat cn so you have to search for chat cn ui.chatcn.com so that you can see this nice website and click this get started option and over here you can see the installation and choose this next to js because that's what we are going to use and we are going to use the typescript and you can simply copy this complete template over here copy it and let's get back to the terminal over here paste it and in this case our project folder is already being declared so in this case i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to bring it directly in the root folder of this project folder so dot slash typescript so instead of my app, I just changed it to dot slash, hit the enter. And that is going to uh, ask you, yes. Okay. So would you like to use the source directory? Nope. We are going to use the app router. Yes. And I'm not going to change the default import alias name. So no. So this will take some time. So sit tight and let's get back once it's successfully installed. All right, then so in this case in my machine it's successfully installed so let me clean this up and over here you can see let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it clear now so here we can see we have this app and inside the app we have the main layout so because each and every folder it has its own layout and own page.tsx file so we can customize that layout how that layout structure is going to be and the page is the content which is going to be loaded inside that layout okay so this is the layout page which it's going to be okay so you can change the fonts and everything in this case i'm just going to use the fonts as poppins and let me change this the wherever the term enter we are using let me change this to poppins let me keep it as a small letter case poppins okay so now it is missing that subset over here weight because we need to include the array of weights so let me give it that uh, so I need the 100, 200, 300. So, so just like the same way, we need to include all the weights which is be necessary for our Poppins font. And this this title is going to be online job portal, and it's going to description is going to be create your own online portal application or something job portal application okay that is going to be the description so let's fire it up so let's say npm run dev so that is going to run it in our local host and let me open it in this browser localhost 3000 all right so it's compiled and this is how it's going to be you can see online job portal and the you can change that the entire font structure is completely changed from the default font structure okay so now let's go ahead and install this chat cn so i'm going to stop the server and let's get back you need to initialize this chat cn so copy this and copy the npm command and run this hit enter so that is going to download that uh, so we are going to use the default because so if you look into the components over here let me open this components in the new tab so you can see for each and every components it has the two different layouts default and the new art in this case we are going to use the default because there is nothing much changes when you are using the new art style because the margin padding sizes are quite different when you are comparing to the default but we are going to use the default style so i'm going to choose the default over here and i'm going to use the neutral color so neutral and i need to create the css variables so s and that's it so that is going to install all the necessary dependencies and if you get back over here you can see we have the library folder which having the utils.ts which having this certain functions to create a customized css styles and we have some uh what is it some changes in our global.css you can see we have a lots of uh, the values which been add variables which been added by the chat cn all right so now let's see how you can see we have the new components folder 
which been created automatically so inside so every time when you're downloading a new component it's going to create a new folder over here called ui inside that ui folder that component will be downloaded and stored locally okay so let's search for button and i'm going to show you how to use that and after that let's jump into that so here i'm going to say button search for button and this is the one so all you have to do is to copy this npm and let's get back over here clear and paste it just hit the enter so that is going to download that button and it's going to install that button in our local project and now if you get back to the components folder you can see we have the new folder called ui inside that ui folder we have this button.tsx and you can see there are the these are the different button variants which been created by this function cva so just just exactly the same way we do have the function in our utils folder called cna cn this is for our customizations okay so if you have a look at a close look over here you can see it's having different variants and the sizes and everything so this is how we are going to use this uh, component as a reusable component from our end so all you have to do is to just right after here i'm gonna say bring the button from the ui components and i'm just going to give a name for that button as a click me let's fire this up and let's see how it's looking up npm run dev so let's get back over here now if i refresh it that is going to compile the complete project and where is that button yeah here we go see at the ball the way to the bottom so all we can do is instead of change writing this in the layout oops wait a moment instead of writing this entire content in this thing all i can go to the page.tsx and let me delete everything over here and i'm just going to say sfc and i'm going to change this to home page home page and inside this i'm going to create a div which is going to bring div which is going to bring that button over here and which is going to say the click me so save the changes now we can see we having the button over here and you can play around with these buttons like changing the variant so what kind of variant that it's to be if you are using the delete button let's change this to destructive so you can see some changes over here and even you can customize the styles by using the class name property and if you want to keep it as a size what kind of size it's going to be you can see the default large if you change it to large the button looks a little bit bigger Okay, so you can use this reusable components and you can go through the chat CN and you can understand how all these things are going to be. Okay, so since we successfully installed this chat CN and all these things, let's jump into the clerk authentication and that's what we are going to do next.